All right, y'all. Um, I'm here tonight with some sad news. Um, the uh, a a, a, a Coleman a Central Unit, a Central Heating and Air Conditioning Unit that I remembered from my childhood was recently replaced with a brand new uh with a brand new uh, Goodman unit and uh it was sad to see that you know a uh, Coleman central unit go because I mean it's I remember that Coleman unit from that Coleman unit was located on Cedar Springs Road here in Athens, Tennessee. And uh and where it was located at was um just right across the street from where a city swimming pool used to be. There also used to be a city swimming pool in that you know uh, same area right across the street, but that the pool was like, you know, taken out and a memorial garden was uh, put there instead. But back whenever it was a pool, spent, you know, quite a bit of time, you know, swimming in that uh, pool, that city pool with all the other kids when I was just a youngster. And this was like, Back in uh, 1990, year 1990, but it was, but back in year 1990 is whenever I first uh, noticed that around, you know, a Coleman unit there at that, you know, a uh, mobile home that it was heating and cooling and thought was fascinating fascinating because I was kind of familiar with them units at the time and they had a four bladed fan that spin counterclockwise which back in the day really turned me on but I was inspired by you know swimming at that pool and then uh, looking across the street at that mob mobile home and seeing that a Coleman round unit and as I said earlier, this was back in year 1990. Um, and uh, throughout the years, I mean, uh, that uh, Coleman unit stayed there. And, uh, and also, I mean, uh, up until recently, I mean, it still stayed there. I mean, it obviously was a good unit and provided uh, years of dependable service and uh, and last year when I drove down Cedar Springs Road and noticed that Coleman unit was still there I was impressed I mean because that really goes to show you how much more reliable older units were than the you know uh than the brand new uh, pieces of shit manufactured today that can't even last a decade, prob probably can't even last uh, five years. I mean, it's pathetic, but that Coleman unit was an inspiration to me because, I mean, it's an example of how well products were made back then. I mean, keep in mind that I already mentioned that, you know, uh, I went to swimming in that location back when that was a swimming pool, back in year 1990. And, in, and last year, and also this year until not too long ago, that Coleman unit was still there. I mean, it wasn't so long ago that drove by there, that Coleman unit was still standing, and um, it obviously was still working because somebody had put the trash can lid on top of it, and when that unit was turned on, that, uh, you know, a trash can lid would, 
you know, of course wave up in the air, and I don't know why that lid was there, but it, it was, and, um, so obviously the unit was still working and heating and cooling the, the mobile home, and, uh, I was just so amazed to see that uh, Coleman unit still there. I mean, very impressive with how well things were built back then. But today, I drove by that uh, same mobile home, and that Coleman unit was recently replaced with a brand new Goodman, Goodman unit, as I mentioned earlier in this video. And, uh, yeah, all you guys in the heating and air conditioning field probably are familiar with all them uh, Goodman units installed today, them brown turd units, because they're all over. I mean, Goodman units are basically the thing nowadays being installed. And I have me a Goodman package unit myself, I mean... Which, obviously, I mean, <laughs> definitely pieces of shit compared to the uh, vintage unit as that uh, Coleman uh, unit was. But uh, anyway, it was, I was kind of sad to see that Coleman unit replaced because it definitely marked a place in my childhood. And what also dawned on me is here in Athens, Tennessee, there's really a really very, very few vintage units from my childhood that are still running today. I mean, vintage units from my childhood that are still running today have become extremely scarce, even close to non-existent, especially here in Athens, Tennessee. I do know of locations around here with other central units from my childhood, but the problem is, is I don't know whether or not them units are still working. Maybe I should drive by them locations on a hot day and see if they're turned on, but you know, but the ones that I, I, I know of, and I've even been there on very hot days, I mean, I don't see them turned on, so I'm not real sure they're in service, but there's just very, very few close to non-existent vintage central units from my childhood that are still working today. I mean, it's definitely become next to nothing, which is a sign I'm getting old. I am 45. I'm going to be 46 on December the 21st, and... <sighs> Seeing all these vintage units from my childhood get replaced out makes me feel pretty damn old, you know? Kind of sad, too, since units like that Coleman unit definitely marked a place in my childhood and lasted years and years, provided years of dependable service before they gave up their ghost. And to me, there's definitely uh, good, uh, good things to, you know, uh, explain about that. And l let me tell you another thing. That uh, brand new Goodman unit that... Um, that replaced that uh, vintage Coleman unit sure as hell won't last near as long as that Coleman unit did. I mean, it's just a modern day piece of shit like they all are nowadays. It won't last near as long, trust me. Probably won't even last a decade. But anyway, I just thought I would get all this off my chest tonight and, uh... Y'all, uh, you know, uh, have a great week and stay tuned.